Hi there, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. Again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We've got you covered. So, it's an exciting time for baseball fans as the Major League Baseball season is underway. So, we're going to get uh, to look at some of the games for um, Sunday, April the 7th. But before we do, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP Club section. Again, it has all these tools across the top and throughout the, the website to help you make your picks. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the games. It's a full schedule. We're going to look at five of the games for this weekend. And the first one we want to take a look at is the Baltimore Orioles and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Baltimore comes in 4-2 uh, and two over the last six, average up. While the Pirates are burning hot, they are 5-1 uh, and one over the last six and 6-1 six and one on the season. If you look at the over-under, you can see that Pittsburgh has been involved in games over the line in each of the last six, while Baltimore over the line in four out of the last six. The score predictor has uh, Baltimore by a 5-2 to score. Confidence in the prediction is about 69%. If you take a look at the head-to-head -head matchups between the two teams, they met in preseason, but that, has, that is it, so they did not uh, meet at all this season. Um, if you look at the power ranks indicator, Baltimore is at plus 23 at the moment, and Pittsburgh is at plus 21. If you take a look at the stability factor, how consistent are the two teams with regard to their favorite underdog status, you can see that Baltimore is you know, very consistent at plus three. Remember, this is early in the season, plus, so plus three is a, is a very high number for uh, this category so early, but Pittsburgh is at minus two, so they have been very inconsistent. So in the end here, I think this is going to be an Orioles game. I like Baltimore to take this one in a game over the line. Philadelphia and Washington, Toronto, New York. You see there's a whole slate of games. You can take a look at whichever ones you want. I'm looking at the ones that I feel are kind of the most intriguing ones so far. Uh, here's the Mets and the Reds. So the Mets are coming in dead up. They've they uh, are only just one and five over the last six. Well, Cincinnati is playing very well. They are four and two and average up on the season. You can see that Cincinnati has been involved in games over the line in five out of their last six. The only one was the last one against Philadelphia in a four to one win. And the Mets have been under in four out of the last six. So, and in a case like this, I tend to try to avoid the over under bet when the teams are trending on opposite sides of the line. The score prediction has Cincinnati by a wide margin by 9-3 to three score. Confidence in the prediction is very high at 81%. On the power ranks indicator, you can see an upward-downward trend, uh, mostly upward for Cincinnati over the last few days, up to plus 18, and the Mets have climbed from plus 2 up to plus 8. Uh, the stability factor, neither team has been very stable or consistent at all, so take the favorite underdog stats with a grain of salt in this one. I like Cincinnati in this game, but I'm going to pass on the over-under. Oakland and Detroit. Chicago and Kansas City. Let's see. Next one is Cleveland and Minnesota. This is a good AL Central battle. Cleveland coming in burning hot. Winners of their last three and four and two over their last six. While Minnesota is averaged down. Losers of three out of their last four and three and three over their last six. If you take a look at the over-under, the teams, again, trending on opposite sides of the line. Four games over and two under for Cleveland on the last six, and the opposite is true for Minnesota. The score prediction has Cleveland by a single run, confidence in prediction of 59%. And you'll get the power ranks indicator Cleveland on the upward trend from plus nine back on April 1st, a continuous upward trend up to plus 27, while Minnesota has dipped from 21 down to 12 just over the last two days. Uh, anything here on the stability factor? Again, it's early in the season, but so far, neither team has been particularly consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. Head-to-head, -head, uh, the teams have played one game so far, and that was back on April the 4th. Now, there will be more games by the time this has been uh, by the time this game has been played on Sunday. There will be more games between these two teams because it's a, a complete weekend series. But so far, Cleveland is one up on the season series. And in this one, I like the Twins at home. I think it's going to be like a two-run game, uh, but I'm going to go over the line in this one. I think it's going to be a lot of runs scored in this one. So it'll be entertaining for people that like offense. Seattle and Milwaukee. Miami and St. Louis. We're going to take a look at the Cubs and the Dodgers. Look at this one here. Both teams burning hot. The Dodgers coming in 5-1 and, and over their last six, 6-1 six and one on the season, while the Cubs are 
four and two on the season, and they have won their last four. If you look at the over-under, the Dodgers have been involved in games over the line in each of the last six, and the Cubs in four out of the last six. So expect a higher scoring game, and the score predictor, if this holds true, would be uh, an over-the-line score. On most occasions, the line is not yet out yet, but a 7-6 to six score in favor of the Dodgers, and confidence in the prediction is very high at almost 88%. On the power ranks indicator, not a surprise, but as well as the two teams that played, that they're both very high in this category, 25 to 24 in favor of the Dodgers. Consistency factor with their favorite underdog status, you can see the Dodgers are very consistent, plus four. Uh, the Cubs not so much uh, at minus one so far. So I like this one. This is going to be a very entertaining game. I think the Dodgers win this one. I'd say just by a single run, and it's going to be a high-scoring game. Go with the Dodgers and over the line. And then we want to look at, no, not Boston, the Angels. It's down here. Here we go, Houston and Texas. The Rangers are coming off the World Series uh, victory last season, and in this AL uh, West battle, you can see that they are average up versus ice cold up over the Astros. They have won four out of their last six, while the Astros have lost four out of their last six, so they're off to a very poor start. The teams have been trending on, well, in the last three games for each team, opposite sides of the over-under, but overall over the last 12, even, six over and six under. Um, the score prediction has Texas by a six to four score. Confidence in the prediction is sitting there at 79%. If you look, look at the head-to-head -head matchup, the teams have not yet met this season, but if you look here at last season, the last six games were in the AL uh, championship game, actually the last seven, with Texas winning, and of course they went on to win the World Series. On the power ranks indicator, neither team is up very high yet early on, plus 13 for Texas and plus 9 for Houston, although both teams are on upward trend over the last couple of days. If you look at the volatility oscillator, the stability factor, Houston is at zero and Texas is at minus two. So neither team very consistent in that regard. So I don't think this is going to be much of a chance for Houston in this one. I just don't like the way they're playing right now. I'm going with Texas at home in a game under the line. So there you have it. Those are the games we took, took a look at for Major League Baseball for April 7th. Happy betting and see you next time.